Hey Libra, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep thoughts for the next six weeks. Yep, the last couple weeks of May and the full month of June. This is what should play out if everybody keeps on track. Right on. This is a general reading for the sign of Libra. This is not a personal reading for you, and a general reading is not a replacement or a um or a um exception to a personal reading, right? It's not at all. If you need a personal reading, reach out to your favorite tarot card reader. Hopefully that's me. I will hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation for 50 bucks with the link in the box below for my YouTube subscribers only. I want to reiterate that only the people who are subscribed to my YouTube channel will get a $50 YouTube reading. Everybody else, if you like the way that I read and you want a reading with me, but you don't want to subscribe to my channel, you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com and pay the full price of $100. Yes, YouTube subscribers get 50% off all day, every day, because I am just loyal like that, right? All right, here we go, Libra. All right, so you start out this reading with conflict and insecurity. Five of Wands conflict. Four of Pentacles insecurity, right? But then it turns beautiful. So I was like, what the hell? What is all this conflict and insecurity about right here? And I asked, and all these cards came out all at the same time. So this is the backstory to your conflict and insecurity. Princess of Wands says that you would like to take some passionate action. At least some passionate communication. About planning for your future, engaging and working on something, resurrecting something from the dead, something that you see as the Ten of Cups, harmony, happiness, values alignment in your relationships, and the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new prosperous opportunity. So that's what you want to do right? That's what you want to do. You want to take inspired action to plan for your future, to engage with someone, to resurrect something from the dead, to have the 10 of cups with this person and a prosperous, um, brand new beginning, right? But you're feeling all conflicted and insecure about it, all conflicted and insecure about it, right? Six of Wands says that maybe in the past there was a fall from grace or some kind of disrepute, definitely some lack of confidence, but what you really want is victory and progress in the situation to the Ten of Cups again. You want, you want harmony and values alignment and happiness in your relationships the two of pentacles comes in and says that you are looking for balance and prioritization. Balance and prioritization. The world card says that you want to start a brand new cycle. You want to start a brand new life cycle. You're ready to write a brand new chapter in your life. King of Pentacles comes in. This King of Pentacles is about security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in your life. And this is the backdrop for this relationship that you are conflicted and insecure about going forward into. Okay? The Lovers. This is all in the center of your reading, no less. This is all about a love relationship, okay? Your insecurity, your desire to, to engage and plan for your future and have this brand new beginning, success, victory, ten of cups, balance, prioritization, writing a new chapter, in in control of, of, of the direction that things are going in regards to a love relationship. Six of Pentacles, who it is that you want to give and receive with. Now you've been thinking for a good hard minute in the hermit energy, right? Doing some soul searching, some introspection, seeking some inner guidance. Because what you want is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal of a relationship with the sun card. Sun card says you see things clearly about what it is that will make you happy. Page of Swords comes in and says you're going to communicate this to 
The Empress. She has been around for a long time in your readings, Libra. A long time. You are going to communicate your desire for hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Love relationship. And the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups twice. Planning for your future. Engaging. All of that. You are going to communicate this to the Empress. And you want to have a brand new beginning and a brand new journey with this energy in your life. But here we are again. For some reason, you are challenged. You're challenged to make this offer. With the Page of Pentacles, you're challenged to make this offer because you feel super insecure with the Four of Pentacles. Super insecure with the Four of Pentacles. Um, and I don't quite know why. But the Four of Cups says that you're just thinking about it. You're not doing anything about it. You're just thinking about it right now, right? As a matter of fact, we don't really have any action cards at all in here. There's, there's no knights. There's no push forward. There's no action. All we have here is you thinking about how badly you want all of this, Libra. Page of Pentacles, you just, you're just having a hard time bringing forth that, that offer. King of Cups comes in and says, you have a lot of feels for this Empress energy right here. You have a lot of feels for this Empress person. The Alchemist says that you want desperately to take inspired action. You really, really do. You want desperately to take some inspired action with the Ace of Cups because you have the feels so hard for this person. You have the feels so hard for this person, but you're keeping it all to yourself. Keeping it on the down low because you're super insecure. Ten of Wands says that that carrying your feels inside is a huge burden for you. It's a huge struggle and it's a huge burden. And you know that when you release those feels, it's going to be a huge accomplishment. But you're so scared, Libra. You're so insecure about sharing your feels and your plans and the action that you want to take with this Empress. King of Cups comes in and says that, uh, again, reiterates feels like crazy, right? This King of Cups is somebody that is emotionally balanced and control, has emotional security, calm, cool, collected, right? But it's also a card about volatility. So I think keeping all of these feelings bottled up inside of you, Libra, really causes some mental anguish for you. A lot of mental anguish. So this King of Cups representing your feels for this Queen of Pentacles. And I want to point out Taurus energy, Earth energy. So Earth energy here too and here right? So you may very well be dealing with an earth sign or somebody that embodies the qualities, at least in your line of sight, of an earth energy. Don't have to be, just saying. So you've got the feels for this queen of pentacles right here, but you're all just locked down. You're locked down. You're insecure. You're very conflicted on the inside. You want to start a new beginning. You want to have a love relationship, right? More earth energy right there. You want a new beginning. You want a new journey. You want to offer this page of pentacles. You want the ten of cups, but you don't because you're insecure. Well, I did something for you, Libra. I asked you a good old Rider weight deck. What would happen if Libra went forward to this person, to this to this Empress, Queen of Pentacles type of energy? What what would they say? So, Libra, this is what your person would think if you came forward to them with an expression of feels, okay? This is your person. Your person at first would be very confused. <laughs> very confused. What? Very confused. Gonna have to dig down inside and, and, and muster a little strength because I think maybe you broke their heart in the past or maybe you maybe they broke your heart. But I'm feeling that you broke their heart in the past. So they'd be confused. They'd need to pull up some, some strength, some inner strength because there is some pain. Somehow there's some pain from a the past with you. This person is now an independent, successful, self-sufficient person, right? They're a single, self-sufficient person, and they're doing all right without you, Libra. They are. They are the queen of wands, right? Could be a fire sign, could not. But whatever the fact is, is that they are successful 
in their own element and successful. They have carried on just fine without you. Look at that. The Empress, they are abundant. They're building their life and they are doing just fine. So if you come forward to this person, Libra, Seven of Swords is what comes up, right? So we have indecision and confusion, needing to pull on some strength because of some kind of pain between the two of you in the past. Now this person has emerged as a self-sufficient, independent, single person who takes on the energies of the Queen of Wands. She's a boss bitch, right? And the Empress, and the Empress, right? She is, um, she's abundant and she's building and she is just perfectly fine without you. Seven of Swords comes in and says that if you approach her, she would be willing to take all of the betrayal, the deception, the shady behavior from the past that caused this Three of Swords right here and break free from those mental challenges. She or he, this person, would entertain the idea of coming together with you again. King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. They would like to sit down and talk about the options that are on the table between the two of you. Chariot says, action, success, movement forward into the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck, karma, and a turning point in your destiny. So Libra, all of this insecurity that you have and all of this, all of this pushing down of the feels that you have and being apprehensive to approach this person that has been in your readings for months now, months we have been coming to this point, right? Your insecurity is unfounded. Because these cards say that, yeah, at first she's going to be super, super, uh, probably just shocked, right? She I keeps saying she because there's just queens everywhere, okay? This person at first is going to be indecisive and shocked. They're going to have to reach down and get some strength because there is some pain between you in the past. There is some pain between you in the past because now they got their shit together. They're not, they're not mourning over you. They're not waiting for you to come around. They have carried on. They have shook the Libra off and they're like, what else? I'm going to carry on with my life. Feeling like the Queen of Wands and the Empress, right? But if you approach them, they are willing to take the shady behavior from the past and break free from it and let it go. They want to talk, the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. They'd like to sit down and talk about choices and options that are on the table. They would like to take some action and move forward into a brand new beginning with you. So I hope that helps you feel better, Libra, about your anxiety and your insecurity about coming forward to this person with your feels because they're all about the fool card with you. They're all about the fool. They're all about the world. They're all about the lovers. They're all about the Ten of Cups, right? And the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. They're all about it. These cards say they are all about it. Not without some apprehension because they're remembering the pain. But I think when you go forward and you talk and you present yourself as uh, clean and straight and, and straightforward and honest, I think that they are willing to bury the hatchet and move forward with you. I really do. Anyway, Libra, that was your reading. If you would like more clarification, understanding, foresight, confirmation of your own intuition, Hit the link in the box below. Schedule a reading with me. 50 bucks. I'll hook it up just like this just for you. Namaste.